All right, so the Kong Connect 2024 has finally finished, and now we can share some new test drive unlimited solar crown information. That being said, we've gotten a new trailer titled The Explorer, which showcased some vehicles doing some off road exploring, all the way up to when you found them find a wreck together. And then, of course, we also got a letter titled The Winter Update, which, to be fair, is one of the most transparent and honest letters that we've ever gotten to date. And it did mention a delay, however, it was pretty damn honest about it so with that being said let's get straight into this with first the trailer breakdown okay so here we are the trailer now funny thing this is one of the first roads that uh the con showed me when i was in france with theo uh black panther and team vvv allen so that route right here by the way let's actually rewind that this route right here if you guys remember in an old old video there's a raptor that showed you guys some raptor gameplay this is down this route and this let me show you on google earth where this is so here we are on hong kong island and this is actually where they are right now dragon's back which is a famous walking path for hikers located on hong kong island and funny enough they're actually just about right here because right here is where you guys saw me showcase the corvette gameplay doing the donuts driving through the parking lot and if you drive a little bit further turn up this road it's so funny looking at this the game is so pretty close to what it looks like but there's a uh basically a path that looks to be going up here the side of the mountain which is very narrow and you guys can see right here is sheko peak and if i just drag and drop somewhere we should be able to figure out get a nice view yes here we go look at that pretty nice so they turn all these walking paths around hong kong island into driving off-road routes and honestly off-roading is going to be way better compared to test travel limited 2 and honestly i'm really excited for that let's head back to the trailer and just to take you back a little bit if i zoom in right here it's going to be impossible to see but basically there are these signs which say the actual walking path trail you can see the map on the side there as well of hong kong island i mean i'm in the way but you guys can see it right there on the left side but that's that let's head back and continue the raptor and the porsche taycan cross turismo some gameplay of the uh lancia delta here and if i can somehow get this zoomed in you can see what i mean by these signs hong kong island uh country park i think that just about says but basically all these signs say that let's continue Now, this path is beautiful. This is the same path as this screenshot from the Ford Raptor. Not in this exact area, but as you continue around, you're going to be around that side of Hong Kong Island. And just to show you, so here we are on Google Earth, and basically where we are is right here. There's a little pathway, and just for reference, the Ford Raptor is basically right here. And if I can drag and drop, so you guys know what the Ford Raptor is. Oh, there's probably, there is? Yes, here we go. So this is where the Ford Raptor is, and I'm going to back out here. And on the other side is basically where the Lancia is. It's this massive cliffside. As you guys can see, that goes along this path that goes all the way along here and connects to this, like, I guess, larger path there. And those buildings you see are probably a bit covered. So I want to say maybe it's from like here. Let's see if I can drag and drop. This is probably the best shot we can get. But you can see, bro, look how vast and massive it looks. Anyways, so that's the shot there. Let's head back to the trailer, though. Beautiful. And right there, we can see our first look at the uh, other Porsche, which is uh, we, this was already confirmed as a uh, vehicle in the game. But the Cayenne Turbo E3 2018 is there. driving through here i'm not too certain where this location actually is i want to say that location is probably the titan tuck reservoir or something of that sort other than that i can't really tell because obviously yeah honestly i can't really tell i think that's the titan tuck reservoir somewhere there but there's another offer location for you guys let's head back to the trailer also banger of a song for them to choose and i do quite love this shot of all the screenshots that they take we need to head back though so this was one of the screenshots that we saw of the uh Taycan that you guys can see near the satellites now this one i'm pretty sure is looking around the middle of hong kong island 
this shot is pretty damn interesting artistically created this but that being said this location taking a look at it you can see in the background there's some houses or villages there and if i can assume and pinpoint this it looks like we're actually in this area right here called lan nai wan which again on the southern side kind of near dragon's back and also near that area right there but i think right here is a village we're actually looking at if it can somehow give it to me yes i would like to say i am probably right so it's somewhere around here in this area as you guys can see where i just uh looked in on that's probably what we're looking at and you guys can see just over there in that little corner is where the buildings are so pretty cool let's continue this and look how narrow the roads are some more narrow roads another area it's impossible to tell where this off-road route is probably again central uh island goes through another trail some more pictures now that one was pretty obvious uh this is the titan uh Tucker reservoir around the area as well now this is obviously artistically recreated they don't have this in hong kong island but looking at it i want to assume it's going to be around the central part of the island as well but they have a nice little dirt track for us to go ahead and check out very nice And look at the elevation off the side of that cliff, man. And actually, where we just... So, I'm almost certain I know where the, this exactly is now. Because this is closer up to the other screenshot you guys saw where the bridge was. Now, this is us looking right at the village across. The water's looking much upgraded from uh, TDU Connect as well. Love to see it. Yep. I mean... Come on, guys. They've improved graphically really well. You gotta be a hater to say otherwise. Some more beautiful off-roading. Another. Now, this, I want to say, let's go on Google Earth. I think it's actually around this area here where they're driving. Again, it's hard to really, uh, actually, because there's an island right there, right? Honestly, I would like to call myself a Hong Kong Island prodigy at this point. I can nearly pinpoint everywhere on the map. It's, <laughs> what's wrong with me? <laughs> Look at that little slot there. You guys can see. We'll head back to Google Earth. There's a little slot. So they're driving around this uh, path right here. And that's quite detailed. <laughs> the fact that you can reference a game and just see it in real life is such a blessing. And that's exactly why I love the Test Drive series. You can literally go in real life and go into the game and it's nearly identical honestly hats off to kt they've always been like pretty damn good at, with environments anyways let's continue the trailer some collectible they drove over by the way all of them uh pair up now and you can hear a beeping noise and then we find our first wreck now, I'm going to pause this right here. This wreck is actually a model we've seen before. And I'll pop up the screenshot on the screen for you guys right now. This screenshot was from Solar Club Letter 2. Map details, if I remember correctly. I feel like such a nerd remembering that. That was April 2023's letter. So, nearly a full year later, I can't remember these screenshots. But that's the vehicle that they just collected. And it looks like you can find it together. And this, again, highlights another story of how to play Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. Anyway, so it zooms out. That's the area they're in. And now, if you can mentally remember this location, which I just showed you on the screen in Google Earth. You guys can see they are literally right here. Did anyone have a picture of it? No one has a picture of it. But they are... Oh, this is okay this is good and that's where they are and jesus man this island is honestly beautiful guys and the water is pretty damn close to what they look like in the game actually like color you guys can see here but that's the location they're at and yeah really exciting and actually that little thing that square is actually there as well in real life so that's the trailer 
at the end of it, in-game, uh, in-engine gameplay footage. No dates, but let's go over the letter now because I have some more information about the game. Let's go. Okay, so let's go through it. The Solar Club letter number seven titled The Winter Update. So I'll start off reading. It says, uh, Dear members, you've learned more about silver aspects of Test Drive Unlimited experience over the last few months, whether it's about cruising with the cruiser or competitive racing with the racer. You must recognize yourself in one of these play styles. Today, we're going to look at another approach to TD with the Explorer, which offers a way to explore the hidden side of Hong Kong Island, diverse and lush environments full of surprises and items to collect in this winter update we also want to address some important topics including some of your questions and the current state of the game's development happy reading pretty nice and it does say a link to the explore trailer and by the way just so you guys get a uh, gist of what these actually look like this is what the letter looks like um pretty damn professional to be fair i'm loving it there's a lot here though so let's start off and let me know if you guys want me to read them from future like this instead of showing gameplay in the background, let me know in the comment section below and I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll do it page by page, but yeah. Okay, so more details about exploration. The latest the Explorer, you're taking off the beaten track and showing the world you can endlessly explore on Hong Kong Island. So it goes on to mention some of the confirmed cars that are in the game. So from the Lancia Delta, the Ford Raptor, F-150, and the Taycan the Turbo S Cross Turismo. Um, again, if you want to pause the video, you can continue reading that. Um, it does say from beaches to forests to mountains, Hong Kong Island has many different and landscapes to explore as it has treasures to find alone or with friends you can set out to find nearly 300 items collectibles including rewards like solar coins reputation clan influence and special objects which i like to assume is going to be rex you should also pay attention to the wreck radar which alerts you when a recoverable car part is nearby collect all of them to assemble two exclusive cars which we found on one of them and can only add these two cards once you've found all the parts which are scattered around the island, as well as the fun discovering unique landscapes rarely seen in racing games. <laughs> Exploration also offers a valuable rewards for your in-game progression. All right, gotta love it. Um, it does show this screenshot now, which was one of the T screenshots from uh, the TDSC Discord. Quite nice. And moving along, it does say the more observant among you will have noticed the absence of particle effects, especially dust and splashes on gravel roads. We're still working on integrating and optimizing these effects. It's an important element of off-road immersion, but also a resource and performance intensive. Our current development goal is to find the best balance between practical effects and performance while ensuring smooth gameplay remains a priority. Although we can display long dust trails like in WRC games with the KT engine, the scale of Hong Kong Island and the resources required to display other players and the detailed environments means it's much more of a challenge for TDSC. Alright, they're getting hella honest here, hella transparent and can we fault them for this hell no this is actually what we all wanted to see from them bro like literally more transparent with the game let us know the development let us know like not just tell us but this also educates us in terms of how development works so yeah like they did say that was pretty good that they mentioned uh wc's dust shells because those are pretty damn good but at the same time, it's intensive and it's going to take time to get there. So very nice for them to get honest there. Now, moving on, it does say MMO at heart of the TDU experience. So Test Drive Limited Solo Crown wants to bring car enthusiasts together for a social and lifestyle experience that goes beyond the game. And then the next paragraph, it does go on to say in TDUC, this shared passion can be experienced in different ways from cruising, exploring, racing, etc. While driving, you will always have other players around you, which creates a living, breathing city. In TDU, this love for cars is also experienced in the social aspect of dealerships and workshops, where you can chat about your next purchase, the car of your dreams, and how you're going to customize and upgrade it. The Solar Hotel, which again, it does say check out Solar Club Letter number three, and the Clan HQs were also created as living areas and meeting spaces. Now, for various reasons, these social features require an infrastructure that is constantly connected to online databases. Data boards, races, inventories, moderation, live events, anti-cheat measures, and the overall game experience. And then, the hard hitter. An internet connection is therefore required to play TDUSC. Honestly, I'm okay with it. You guys are going to say, oh, you're shilling for that. That's not literally what it means. But all I ask is, at the end of the game's life, Nakon, just literally give us an offline mode so we can play this game for a continued amount of time past the time the service 
head offline. It doesn't bother me, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to make it up. I'm not going to say something bothers me when it doesn't. I can understand the other side of it. I can see why that does bother some of you guys. And you have a right to be bothered. But I'm not going to fake it and say that I'm bothered by something I'm not bothered by. All right? So that's my two cents on it. I mean, I'm kind of not surprised that that's the route that he went. But yeah, I can understand why some people aren't going to be too fans of that. And you definitely have a fair point. I'm not saying you're wrong. But again, Nakon, at the end of the game's life, just please offline patch it. You guys are hearing me now. That's all you have to do. And I think everyone will be okay with that. And that's all I have to say. So moving on, the home stretch. Now, this is where we get some pretty damn honest stuff. Pretty transparent stuff, guys. So most of TD's gameplay has been implemented and is currently being finalized. But there are lots of big challenges that the development team is working on. Just to give you an idea of the work involved, needed over three years to create Hong Kong Island at once one scale and its road network and to include all the details and off-road race areas in the island's hidden corners. As another example, fully integrating a car model with TDU quality level of detail can take up to four months. This includes detailed modeling to meet manufacturer requirements, adding details for maximum immersion while driving, interior lighting for some models, animations such as reclining roofs, physics for every road surface, engine sounds, upgrades. It's a huge amount of work to provide the most enjoyable and authentic game possible. Each car model is evaluated and tested multiple times to ensure each car provides a specific sensation and unique driving experience. Then there's a screenshot of this right here, which is literally of the Taycan Cross Turismo. You guys can see uh, they're modeling it. So nice little development screenshot there that he added to the letter. And last but not least, the last two paragraphs go on to say we have made significant progress in the recent months, especially because of your participation and feedback suggestions in response to our communications. We have been conducting more tests to test the power of the stability of the servers so that we can gradually reflect real world launch conditions. Server infrastructure for an MMO like TDSC is a major challenge. Hundreds of thousands of players are expected and we are working hard to mitigate risks associated with technical problems. We also know that you want a launch date and we understand your eagerness. We share eagerness. Although a launch date has been considered several times, we want to take the time needed to ensure that your experience with Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is as smooth, stable, and fun as can be. Many of you have already pointed this out to us. Take the time to release a game that matches your expectations. Thank you, Nakon. Gotta love that man. Transparency goes a long way. That's why we're working flat out on several aspects, including the stability of the server infrastructure and optimizing the game's performance. When we feel like those two areas are stable, we'll be delighted to share the long-awaited launch day with you. Then cross the finish line and start our long adventure together. Then it goes on and shows this beautiful screenshot of a GTR in the uh, downtown area. And last but not least, it goes on to say in the meantime, more test phases will be started soon including closed playtest 3 which will be bigger in scope and in larger territories so it looks like well this might be in north america now as well maybe asia too and then the letter finishes off saying we hope this letter clarifies the current status of tdsc for you and what the next major steps are players creators enthusiasts and our teams are closely monitoring your discussions videos analysis and other thoughts in our social media channels though we can't always answer all your reactions are incredibly valuable and we make sure to focus on them during the development of TDSC. And that's it, guys. That's the letter. Uh, Solar Club letter number seven. And yeah, that's it. So no release date yet. But I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty happy that's the route they're going for. So when the game is ready, they're going to bring it to us. I'm pretty sure it's still going to be 2024. And if I had to guess, honestly, summer might be the best amount of time. Maybe they need to optimize it further. And summer or even September, fall this year is definitely when I'm sure they should be able to be at a state where it's presentable, everything's running smooth, and we can have the best launch we could possibly have for the TDU franchise. That's just my guess, though. But they don't want to set a date and not make it. And for the first time, for the first time, guys, and I'm surprised the con is even doing this. If we're being honest with ourselves, guys, they haven't rushed the release. They're taking their time with it, and they're going to release it when it's actually ready. And again, for the first time, what racing game can we say has done that? I'll, I'm here waiting. When was the last time we've heard that? I personally, I don't remember. Someone refresh my memory. Maybe I'm crazy and it happened last year or something. But honestly, 
gotta give them credit guys because they've been transparent this letter and yeah they're taking their time and like i said this game has one shot to launch if that is messed up that's it for tdu guys they can't afford to create any more of it so happy they're putting more money into this game making sure it's optimized make sure it's really good to go and when it's ready we're gonna get a banger of a game and if it's one thing to say for certain since td connect it's impossible to say that this game has not improved a lot since then i mean we've seen physics changes for the better we've seen graphic changes for the better i'm sure network stability has improved as well because that's usually what's going to happen as development takes longer but with that being said let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on the trailer and later guys you already know what it is i'm alex 11 and i'll see you guys in another video i'm out guys peace